Buono dimenasca. Diminanza. Uh, good morning. Uh, by means of introduction, and as Sylvia said, uh, my name is John Ferreira, and I'm the general manager of our application platform strategy uh, back in Redmond. Uh, it's funny, uh, as, as you heard, I did the presentation in uh, the UK yesterday, and I'm a passionate person by nature. And so as I arrived uh, in Bucharest last night, I asked the team, uh, you know, when I present, I tend to get very excited about the technology, and in uh, London, they told me I'm not allowed to do that. I have to talk like this about the technology. And, and what should I do here in Bucharest? So the team sort of looks around, and they, they, they think about it, and they go, we are Latin. I said, ah, okay. So uh, what I hope to do this morning is to share my passion my excitement about this fantastic set of launches and to welcome you all to the formal launch of Windows Server 2008, Visual Studio 2008, and SQL Server 2008 uh, here in Romania. It's an incredible set of releases. Uh, one interesting way of thinking about this wave of innovation uh, is with regards to the number of people that have really been driving this set of innovation. So across Redmond and really around the world, uh, we have a team of more than 10,000 people, developers, testers, IT professionals, that have been working on this set of releases for just over five years. So while not a perfect set of math, you should roughly think about this as being 50,000 man years worth of innovation that we're bringing to market, and we're so delighted to be doing it here at Realtorest. Uh, I've personally participated in, uh, in a lot of these launches. Uh, so while I might look a few years younger than Silvio, uh, I've actually been at Microsoft since 1991. And over that time, I've been a part of all six major releases of the Windows Server operating system. Starting from NT Server 3.1, or it was called Advanced Server 3.1, all the way up through today. And I can personally assure you that this is the single most important release of the Windows Server platform that the company has done since that first release in 1993. So this morning we'll cover three areas. We'll talk about our vision for IT and where and how we're thinking about building and investing our, our innovation agenda moving forward. We'll talk secondly about this particular wave of releases and really spend a lot of time talking to you about why we're so excited about this set of products. As part of that, we'll spend a lot of time with the software. Uh, really showing you exactly what we think that we'll be bringing to market. And then thirdly, we'll spend some time talking about the roadmap and what we would want you to be thinking about and planning for over the next few years to come. So with that, let's get started. Now it starts with a deep conviction that we have around uh, the role that IT plays, the role that you play in your organizations. So, the team was telling me a lot about the IT environment in Romania. The incredible growth. The new and interesting ways in which organizations, and business, and public sector are embracing IT technologies. And at the same time, there's two very interesting dynamics that the team told me were at play here. On the one hand, uh, is a real constraint in terms of IT capacity. Uh, there simply aren't enough IT professionals and developers uh, to meet the full demand across the marketplace. And then secondly, on the other hand, is the general idea uh, that many organizations aren't fully aware of what IT can bring to market. What we hear quite frequently then is that organizations are caught in an interesting 80-20 challenge. All right. And that 80% of the IT spend tends to go towards maintenance just keeping the existing systems up and running. And then it's only 20% of the budget that's allocated to the new innovation, the things that will actually drive the business and the organization forward in terms of connecting customers, partners, efficiencies of how organizations work. Uh, and so this deep conviction around the role that you play and really trying to switch this idea in and around the 80-20 uh, uh, is our core focus as we approach our vision. So 18 months ago, Microsoft announced a vision that we call Dynamic IT. And Dynamic IT really is a North Pole that's guiding all of our research, all of our R&D, 
investments, all of our innovation for the IT space. And at the core of a dynamic IT is the idea of agility. Agility in the data center and agility in terms of a new generation of applications. From a data center perspective, this is really about accelerating the shift from the physical to the logical, embracing virtualization and taking advantage of what it can offer, making the most out of things like model-driven policy so that we can dynamically allocate resources, storage, compute, uh, application capability as the business requirement, uh, as the business requires it. And the implication for us is that we have to do a huge amount of innovation and deep integration in and around the server operating system platform with our virtualization technology and our management security portfolio. Now it's also, we know, applications that drive the business. Your ERP application, your CRM systems, the way that you connect with your customers via your website. And so our focus in and around the application space was first defined this, earlier this fall with an idea that we call Oslo. Oslo is a next generation model whose goal is to really dramatically improve the time to market for building, delivering a new genre of applications with this idea of 10x. What if we could make it 10 times faster to bring a new solution to market? What if we could make it 10 times faster uh, to bring those apps? And at its core, it also embraces a model-based uh, design model for building applications that's thinking about federated applications, a composite type approach, service-oriented architecture at the very heart and soul, and paving the way for a new generation of software plus services based applications. Depending upon the data source that you believe, somewhere between 10 and 40% of all business organizations will be running software as a service in the next three years. Microsoft's strategy is to accelerate that and help organizations get the most out of that. And so these two ideas then around dynamic IT in the data center and the application are driving everything that we're doing in and around this launch. Now we've been working on this dynamic IT vision for quite a while. And 2007 was an amazing, powerful, prolific year for delivering against it. Some of the marquee deliverables here included things like our BizTalk server, the R2 release, which is really at the anchor of the Microsoft SOA strategy. Uh, new technologies and, and capabilities in the uh, Microsoft SharePoint server uh, set. That's the services for collaboration, the XML services, the business data catalog, the new ways in which we're integrating workflow for people to build composite applications on top of SharePoint, a major milestone against this delivery. And so our roadmap then over the next 12 to 18 months, you'll start to see releases this summer of SQL Server, <coughs> the Hyper-V technology, the update to System Center to support that technology set. Windows HPC Server 2008, and an exciting set of releases in what we call Silverlight 2, which we just announced two weeks ago. And along the way, I want to alert you to the importance around something we talked about earlier with Dynamic IT, which is this next generation of the data center, the new generation of applications. <coughs> we will be embracing a software plus services approach across each and every one of these milestones in new in exciting and interesting ways. So for example, just two weeks ago, we announced SQL Server Data Services, SSDS. Think about it as Cloud DB, where Microsoft will now be able to host a component in the sky. So increasingly, you may choose to have some of your data sources local inside the firewall, and some of them beyond, depending upon what the, the needs are. So uh, we are very excited about the roadmap of things to come moving forward. Well, Sylvia this morning, spoke about not just the magic of software, but I think much more importantly about the magic that you all provide to your organizations each and every day. Uh, and I'm going to take this moment to thank you and to recognize that impact. Uh, and uh, I would tell you that at a very deep personal level, we know the type of uh, bet that you've made on Microsoft technologies with your personal career, with your organization's business. And we take that commitment with the highest levels of responsibility. And so our job to you is to listen, to innovate, to continue to support you moving forward, and help you get the most out of this wave of innovation moving forward. 